Good morning from the Orlando Premium Outlets. Real close to Disney, there's a character outlet store here, which is the Disney outlet store. I'm here to see if we can find any sort of good holiday deals for Christmas. I should mention, it's a very cold day here in Orlando. Not too cold uh, compared to some of the other places, but it's cold to us. Well, I guess it's been a little while since I've been here because this is where the Disney store was the last time that I came. Now apparently it's Elizabeth Arden. Oh, I was on the wrong side of the food court. It looks exactly the same on both sides. All right, let's see if I can find some cheap Disney gifts. I always like seeing Dooney and Burke bags here because this one is now $99 and it was $270. I always like to check in this back right-hand corner because they always have a lot of Star Wars stuff and some Star Wars Day at Sea from Disney Cruise Line. There's another one, Star Wars Day at Sea. I do like these though. This one's cool because it looks like a comic book. It's only $20. $10 for this 4th of July one. There seems to be a lot of, what was this, wine and dine merchandise? So this tank top is only $12. Yeah, it was wine and dine half marathon weekend. It is a madhouse in here. So the cash registers to check out are up there and the line goes all the way to the back of the store to check out. Best deal I have ever found. Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party shirt, 99 cents. There's lots and lots of Halloween merchandise and it looks like it's all 9.99 over here, except for the Halloween party shirts are 99 cents. So I got one, they only had small and extra large. I got one small and then one extra large. I don't know what we'll do with them, but figured for 99 cents, might as well. The limited release, Not So Scary Halloween Party pin was 15.02 in the parks. $7 here. Poor Goofy. He's the only character from the Halloween merchandise that's here. And he is on sale for $9. There's a Taser Face Pop for $10. <laughs> There's actually a lot of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 pop figures here. And I think they're all $10. There's Ego up there too. They also have some stuff from Pandora in here. Like this lantern for $15. And then some creature pen set for $13. Whoa, you use light to draw on them? Oh, you use, it's like sand that is reactive to light. This is kind of cool. Wow, $15. They have a glowing hexaped. How much? Oh, it doesn't tell me what its discounted price is. Pretty neat though. Hitchhiking Ghost Emoji Fidget Spinners that light up for $5. You can get a Pandora pillow for $13, which originally it was $35, so a pretty darn good deal. For 99 cents, you could get some really nice sized mugs. They're like a made up football or baseball teams with Disney themes. Look at this toddler figment shirt for $10. I like it. Bring Figment back. These are called character flips and like the inside is this honey pot and the outside is poo. And these are only six dollars. Seven dollars for this baby Sven. Wrapped in a little blankie. I literally flew to California to buy this mug and it's only seven dollars or six dollars here. Even the new Starbucks tumbler is on sale here. Six dollars. Five dollars. <laughs> so I think this is Starbucks. I'm standing in line right now but I noticed over here have one of those ponytails from Pandora. The Disney Tales dog collars are on sale for $9. This Simba pin has a little marble inside of it that you play a maze game with it. It's pretty impressive. Look at, there's a Father's Day pin down here, $7. This thing is not staying still. The Simba pin is uh, $6. I'm gonna say this is a Tsum Tsum train set for $7. I like it. Mickey and Pluto and like a train engine. Sorry, this is $10. And Donald and Goofy get a monorail train for $10 as well. $6 for some Tigger mitts. $10 for a Magic Man 2.0 from Halloween. Here's the other side. I like how at $2 this Olaf magnet is more expensive than one of those shirts that I get. Probably the most ridiculous thing here. For $3 you can get the Remy Hide and Squeak map and completed, uh, the Remy's are no longer at Epcot and you do not get the prize at the end. For $46.99, you can get these uh, Vera Bradley slip-ons. For $5, they have these uh, Marvel Comics comic book themed cups. 
It's got Captain America, Iron Man, and a Spider-Man one up there too. They also have a lot of 45th anniversary stuff here. My goodness, that place was a madhouse. Well, that'll do it from this outlet mall. I think I'm gonna head over to the other outlets just down I Drive and see if they've got anything different at their character warehouse. We have arrived at the other mall to another madhouse. Cars parked in the grass all over the place. People honking and everything at each other. You haven't heard any honks yet, but I promise they will honk. This is insanity. People are just parked all over the place. Holy cow, this is intense. There are cars everywhere. I don't even know if some of these people can get out. Lucky for me, I can park in the charging spot, which is real close in actually the uh, preferred self-parking section that normally you have to pay for. I'm still gonna have to pay to charge it, but not as much as you would have to pay to regularly park. There isn't always charging everywhere, but when it is there, it's always up close, which is nice. So I have no idea where the character outlet is in this mall. I'm just kind of roaming around. As it turns out, I was going the wrong way. I made it. And this one doesn't look nearly as uh, intense as the other one. Plus people. And they have some of the same stuff that I saw at the other place. I literally just bought this mug at the other store. When I was at the other store, they sold out of these Jack Skellington Nightmare Football Club mugs. They're only $3. They didn't have this Pandora Ace Expeditions like bug collector at the other store. 10 bucks. Oh, this little thing down here is a headlamp, but then you can screw it on the bottom and you can light up and see your bugs inside. They have some of the Halloween merchandise here, but they don't have the 99 cent shirts that I've seen yet. We're gonna keep looking. Here they have a Rivers of Light kids shirt from Animal Kingdom for $9.99. They also have the same hoodie. It's still just a kid's, but this one's $20. For $20, you could have an official Pandora Joe Rody lookalike safari shirt. They had this shirt at the other outlet, but I didn't realize that it goes through the progression as Mickey Mouse progresses. That's neat. It's $10. I'm guessing that this one came over from Test Track because it's a Camaro shirt for $10 or $9. Oh, they have the Father's Day uh, pins here too. Well, the Spider-Man one's kind of fun. I found two of these Halloween Magic Band 2.0s around this store. It's in random places. This one was right here. But I think people are trying to hide them. This fun bobsled print is only $20. Oh no, the movie hasn't even come out yet and the Porg mugs are already in the outlet for $8. These poor Porg mugs. Is this supposed to be a Mater Tsum Tsum? It's a... Uh... He looks very angry. Well, I guess so, because Doc kind of looks like a school bus. $2.99, you can be the proud owner of some Death Star Mickey ears. This character warehouse didn't have nearly as much stuff as the other one, but it wasn't nearly as intense inside. There weren't nearly as many people. It might be a little bit silly, because it's freezing out, but I'm gonna stop and get some Froby's ice cream that they're gonna make with liquid nitrogen and milk. Heck yeah. That's gonna be my ice cream here in just a few minutes. Holy cow. This is probably the most ridiculous lunch that I've ever had, but I did vanilla ice cream with peanut butter and M&Ms. Yes. It's too cold for this, but I wanted ice cream. That ice cream was really good, really cold, but really good. I feel like my tongue is frozen and I can't talk correctly. So there you have it. I found some pretty good Disney gifts for really cheap, especially those 99 cent shirts. I know there weren't very many sizes in them, but still 99 cents. I figure we'll find somebody that can fit into that size, right? So with that being said, we are off and we will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.